Ryan, congratulations on your new contract. You must be pleased to have got this over the line. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Um, obviously, I've, I've loved my time ever since I've joined the club, so it was a, an easy decision to make. It gives you a little bit of security as well and stability in your life, which must have been in a big decision because you've just obviously become a father for the first time as well. Yeah, absolutely. You need to kind of think of, um, you know, everything, especially, um, you know, this this kind of time when it comes around. So, um, you know, obviously it's been a, a big kind of step off the pitch, becoming a, a dad and, um, you know, I'm loving that as well. And, and me and my girlfriend love, love living down here and, and starting a family down here. Just tell us how your girlfriend, Georgie and Leo, are getting on. They're good. Um, yeah, like I said, they're, they're loving the Bournemouth life. Um, so like I said, yeah, off, off the pitch, that's, that's probably equally as important to me that, that they're loving it. And, um, you know, both our families are, are down visiting all the time, especially with, with Leo coming along too. And we know your fiance is an artist. Will he be pointing Leo down that route or hoping he follows in your footsteps? Um, oh, <laughs> he could do what he wants. As long as he's left footed, I'll be happy. Now, it seems like only yesterday that you, you first signed for the club, two years ago it was. Does, it, does Bournemouth feel like home to you now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've had that feeling since I've, I've come in the door, to be honest, with, with how amazing everyone's been. I, I kind of mentioned at the time when I joined how welcoming everybody was. And that's not really stopped, to be fair, you know, and it, you know, it goes out with me. It's like you said, with, with Georgie and, um, you know, my family, when people visit, um, it's the first thing they, they say about the club when they, when they come here. So, um, yeah, it's stuff like that that... The, the reason that I want to stay and, and be part of this club. I was going to say signing a new contract shows commitment from, from the club and the player. You're obviously excited about what the future holds. Yeah, 100%. I think anybody looking at the club right now can see that, you know, we're definitely on an upward trajectory and, um, you know, the vision of the club right now is, is massive. So as a player, it's, it's really exciting to, to hopefully be a part of that, um, you know, especially with you know, the new owner and, and everybody behind the scenes doing their utmost to, to really push this, this club right to the top. Just summarise your first two seasons with us. The first one obviously ended in promotion and then a first season in the Premier League for you. Yeah, very enjoyable. Um, you know, when I first joined, I obviously had the aim to, to, to play with Bournemouth in the, in the Premier League. Um, you know, the first season in, in the Championship was, you know, some experience and we managed to get over the line at that, you know, amazing night against Nottingham Forest. Um, and last season as well, yeah, first first season in the in the Premier League, it was a bit of a dream come true. And you know, more importantly, we stayed in the league and get to do it all over again this season. A new head coach at the start of this season. How has he helped you on an individual basis? He's been brilliant. To be fair, I've I've loved working under him so far. Um, you know, the minute he walked through the door pre-season, and uh, the way he wants to play football is is definitely you know a way I I love to play. So you know, it, it suits me and. I think it suits the, the whole of us as a squad. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been brilliant under him. So certainly, you know, learning new things, which, you know, even at, at you know, at 28, I'm, I'm probably one of the more experienced boys in the, in the team now. But when you're learning every day, you know, it keeps it, it keeps it fresh and keeps training exciting every day. Just give us a little insight without giving anything away into one of his training sessions. Very full on. I think, again, for the moment he came in, you know, his, his, his want for intensity and training um, you know, was very, very high. Um, again, which I think all the boys kind of responded to really well. Um, and yeah, I think the way we're playing this season, you know, it's it's a very more you know attacking, high press. Um, you know, it takes a lot of energy, but um, you know when it when it works, which I think we've seen a couple of times this season already. You know, it can be very um, you know it can be very helpful for our game. Now you featured in every league and cup game this season. And it's been quite a challenging start. How would you just sort of describe the start to the Premier League season? Yeah, listen, we've you know we've we've had some frustrating games. We've also had some good games. I think the Burnley, you know, win was was a huge one for us, um, and I think we deserved to win that game and played well. Um, you know, I think now we we're hoping to to go on a maybe a run of games. You know, maybe put two two or three positive results together really kind of boost uh, morale. But Again, you know, the, the, um, the standard of the Premier League this, this season is, is pretty incredible that, that every single team you face is, um, you know, absolutely brilliant. So, um, you know, you need to be in your top form, but um, I think we're ready to, to really, like I said, put a run together and, and jump up the table. And it's an important stage of the season coming up. Christmas and New Year, games coming thick and fast as well and uh, playing some of the teams around you as well. Yeah, it's always an exciting bit of the, the season for me. It's always nice because... Well, you know, as far as I remember with football, you know, 
that that bit of the calendar is a, a lot different to to the norm for everybody else. You know, it's it's full flow in, in football, and um, you know you do sometimes lose out in the kind of Christmas Day area, but the amount of football you play, it's always a, a cool kind of little run of games, and especially if you do well in that in that run, you can come out the other side, um, you know, and your season looks very different. Just on the international front, Scotland have obviously qualified for Euro 2024. Takes a little bit of pressure off the final two games. Your hopes for your international career? Yeah, literally just as play as many games as, as I can. That's you know that's the hope. That's the dream. Obviously, it was a dream for me since a, a very young age. Um, you know, to represent my um, my national team. I couldn't get over my kind of debut when that happened, and 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 every game since then has been a it's been a bonus for me. To be fair, um, I never thought in a million years that I would. Play with Scotland at the Euros, and and you know hopefully I'll get the chance to represent them again next summer. So, um, listen, it's I'm very fortunate to have kind of stumbled my way into this very successful you know Scotland setup as it is at the moment, um, and hopefully it can continue. Bournemouth supporters have always loved a player that gives a hundred percent and shows a great work ethic, and you have certainly added your name to that list. Have you got a message to the supporters for the rest of this season? Um, just. Keep turning up in in their number, numbers as they as they always do home and away. They've they've been absolutely amazing this season. Um, you know, especially some of the away games, um, some of the trips they have to to make to to follow us around the country. Um, they're an absolute credit. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed we can we can pay them back with some some good performances and good results.